Let's talk about the differences between urine training and bowel training. When you start potty training, you want to really focus on urine training. That means taking your child to the potty one to two times per hour, giving her lots of extra liquids to drink, and reminding her to keep her pants dry. Since she'll be going to the potty one to two times per hour, she'll have plenty of opportunities to learn to go pee in the potty. She will also have the opportunity to go poop in the potty. Some kids are just fine with going poop in the potty. Other kids will flat out refuse to go poop in the potty. If that's the case, then you wanna really focus on urine training first, and then you can move on to a separate bowel training. Bowel training can take longer and usually only occurs once a day. So with bowel training, you want to figure out when your child typically goes, figure out her pattern, and then before she typically goes, you wanna get her settled and comfortable on the potty. She needs to sit on the potty until she finally goes poop. That can take 10 minutes or it can take three hours, but she needs to sit on the potty until she finally has a success. Once your child goes poop in the potty two or three times, and she gets a fabulous reward after doing it, then she should be going consistently. With urine training, you can encourage your child to go pee in the potty by giving them extra liquids, but with bowel training, it's important to figure out the pattern first. So those are some of the differences between potty training for urine and potty training for bowel.